These are my thoughts on Hamza Mento and of course all the recent news that have been swirling around him. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I wanted to talk about Hamza Mandel, a Moroccan international player who's recently come back into the spotlight out of nowhere. Mainly just give a brief history on who he is, the type of player that he is, and why the media is so hyped up around him. But before we go ahead and begin, as always don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Hamza Mendel was born in Casablanca on October 21st, 1997 to an Ivorian father and a Moroccan mother. Hamza is a dual citizen of Moroccan and Ivorian coast. His parents had met in Casablanca where both had moved in order to find good work opportunity. Tragically, they divorced during Hamza's childhood, with his father relocating to Paris while he stayed in Casablanca with his mother. Despite these challenges, Hamza began his football journey at Widad Casablanca and would later on move to the renowned Academy of Mohammed of the Six. In 2016, Hamza's talent caught the attention of French club Lille. Initially, he was loaned to Lille's reserve team, so after proving himself there, in 2017, he signed his professional contract with the club. Hamza made his League One debut on February 18, 2017 against Stade Cayenne and celebrated his birthday later that year playing against Rennes. However, a red card in that match showcased some of his discipline issues as he faced throughout his career. The 27-2018 season saw him establish himself at Lille, which caught the attention of major European clubs. And in 2018, despite interest from Arsenal, Hamza joined the German side of Schalke 04 for 7 million euros. His time in Germany had its ups and downs. His debut against Borussia Mönchengladbach saw him being substituted early due to aggressive play. Nevertheless, Hamza demonstrated resilience, delivering commendable performance including one against Lokomotiv Moscow in the Champions League. An injury setback sidelined him for two months, but he made a remarkable return against Manchester City, albeit in a surprising forward position. The subsequent season witnessed Hamza take on new challenges. With loan spills in 2019, he was loaned to Dijon FCO, where he showcased his offensive skills but still had defensive lapses. His sole season there was highlighted by a goal against Toulouse FC, and in 2021, Hamza was loaned to Gaziantep SK in Turkey, marking his debut with two assists against Konyaspor. And to follow up, by 2022, Hamza found a new home in Belgium, signing with OH Louisvin in the Jupiler Pro League. His debut came against KVC Westerlo, where he made a late game appearance. Now, looking forward to the national team, Hamza always aspired to have represent his birth nation of Morocco. His dream became a reality in September 4, 2016 in a match against Sao Tome, Tome e Presimpe. Over the years, he became a staple on the national team, participating in the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations and even being selected for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. So now that I've given a brief summary of Hamza Mendel, now it's time to talk about what is the rave going on around him. Well, recent Moroccan medias have been hyping him up by showcasing his recent results with his local club. And they are, you know, pretty good. You know, they are showing that he has been a consistent performer, definitely has even shown some man of the match performances. And it's definitely starting to raise awareness by fans all alike who are starting to play that uh, Hamza Mendel should get a call up back to the national team. And you know what, after looking at the stats, you know, I would agree, but there is a but that I feel is a bit too early. And by that, I mean that, 
Yes, he has been performing, but it's been over a short term period. I would definitely like to see him, uh, you know, make some more matches and definitely see how he progresses with those. He definitely always had the skills and tenacity to be an excellent player, but of course, discipline has always been his downfall. And I'm hoping that if he does make his return to the national team and i have nothing against it that we will see a mendel who's more mature one that was willing to overcome his setback that ultimately led to an early downfall in his career because he's still you know a fairly good age where he still has a lot of years left in him to be able to contribute and it would be a great addition to the national team as he could easily displays Atia Allah in the left back position and be a good backup support. Now, I just feel as mentioned that he needs more game time and if he continues to perform well, you know, I myself included as well as Wally Regrali would probably, you know, put him in the conversation for contention of being a potential member of Morocco's upcoming Africa Cup of Nation tournament and I would be more than ecstatic but as mentioned we just need to see a consistency from him know that he is that player that will continue to perform so there you have it these are my thoughts on Hamza Mendel and of course all the recent news that have been swirling around him Hamza Mendel to me was always one of those players that I felt you know should have been one of the more mainstay players for the national team of course he did have a lot of setbacks especially with you know discipline as well as um you know during his earlier age prioritizing other things over his footballing career but it does seem like with this club he is starting to you know show more of a commitment with his club and a focus for his uh, profession and I am ecstatic if he does bring that same tenacity that he's starting to do for the national team because it will ultimately come good for the Africa Cup of Nation as we want all the best players for every position to be available to play come that tournament. But of course, I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the whole fiasco going around with Hamza Mendel? Do you think everybody's just getting a little too excited over just a couple of good, decent games? Or do you believe that um, being maybe an avid follower of Hamza Mendel, you maybe have a different perspective? You see that he is starting to grow back into that player we always knew? Or do you think it's all just kind of bluff and in a couple you know games that he goes on to play he'll just kind of revert back to his old self i'd love to hear your opinion kind of get your overall perspective but more importantly than not i'm just glad that you all made it to the end of this video and as always don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel but more importantly i hope that you all have a great day and as always i will see you all in the next one take care everybody